Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wonky, and I'm back with some Pokemon Silver Does Lock. Let's get into it. Uh, as always, and remember, if you like this video, remember to please leave a like. Do it all that stuff. I do these daily, so it always helps to see them. Oh, man. But let me tell you, when we're this many in deep, I think we're pretty close. I think this might be our 40th. Um, that's crazy. That's insane. <laughs> that people are even watching this anymore. <laughs> anyway, let's go on with today's episode. So, we have to go fix the hall. But, um, here's some things that we're going to be doing. First of all, Soul Rock, you are now going to be depositive. Deposit. Because after our experience with Jake last episode, which we saw Jake unfortunately die, I no longer trust, um, me to accidentally kill a Pokemon. So he's not, he's going to be gone. He's going to be our Surf Machine gone until we can get EXP share. But for right now, we're going to bring in Raiders fan. There we go. He's going to be our water for the time being. We need a flying type of some kind. Now. Oop. Oops. Someone's here, so I'm gonna pause real quick. Anyway, like I was saying, we need a Pokemon with fly, but none of our Pokemon can learn fly, so we're gonna bring in. Hmm. If Scoo can learn fly, but Scoo has the same problems as, um. as our other ones. Hmm. Who can we bring in for now? Hmm. It's a hard choice. Oh, we have Snake in the- oh, Snake's not gonna help us right now, though. Screw it. Oops. No, you're level 13. Uh, hmm. Guess the answer's Wong for now. He's really just here to be a body, though. Hmm. Alright, moving forward. Alright, so we gotta go feel, feel up. We gotta go heal up. So, all. And then we'll have access to the gym. Let me make sure Nux is in the front. He is. Okay. Hmm. But yeah, next episode, not this one, but there is going to be a training arc for Nux, because Nux needs to have power if he's going to actually be able to beat the Steel Gym all by himself. And he just doesn't have it right now. He's like... I mean, he's not bad. The problem is, is that they have more levels on him, so he's underleveled. So, the only thing I really have to fear from Jasmine is Steelix, who I don't know if he has a nerf move or not. I'm, assume, I'm under the assumption that he has a move that can hurt me. Um, be it rock or ground type. Either one would be unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. No, this is the wrong way. I forgot to go down the hole. Uh, we got this. Hmm. But yeah, from there it's gonna be. So the, the the so the thing about the training is that next episode is gonna be stupid long. It's gonna be the I think probably one of the longest episodes. Um, so I asked for questions on Twitter, but if you want to give me questions now, yeah, give it to Amphi. I think he means the whole. But oh no, I can feel it. If it was between being touched by me or you, I would rather be touched by you. That makes sense. But anyway, what I was trying to say is that if you have a question, leave it here and I'll answer it in the next video. <laughs> um, I'm gonna need whatever questions I can get, man. It already doesn't feel like it's gonna be easy. But hey, I'm willing to give it a shot. Even if I only get like, what, at most two to three questions. I can stretch that into, like, what, an hour? Easy. And then if not, then I'll just figure out. I have a backup plan as well. I'm gonna see if that works out. And if the backup plan works, then some of the, um, the weight is lifted off of me, and I don't have to care as much. Then that's good. That's always good, I feel. Alright, let's go up. 
I mean, I should have just been using the. <laughs> I should have just been falling down. If there's one down here, I'm gonna just. I'm just gonna fall. There is. Just to save some time. All right, perfect. Now I can't remember. What? Do I still have the stupid rod attached? I do. I mean, we do need to teach Surf to, um, to Raiders fan over here. Here you go. I'm gonna move, get rid of your shitty bubble move and give you a real man to move. Yes. We're gonna give you Surf. Surf and USA. Surf and USA. I forgot. I'm gonna go back in here. Bicycle. Select. Perfect. All right. Now let's see. I think there's at least one or two people to fight in Jasmine's gym. If it's not, then she's the only person in here, in which case we just leave. Of course, she's the only person in here, so we leave. Hmm. Well, let's go fishing, huh? Let's go find a fishing spot. Actually, I can fish in here. See if I can find anything. I still need Magikarp and stuff like that. Go and fishing. And now that I'm on the bike, I can unequip. No! Thank you. Fish. Go and fishing. Let's see who we can get. Probably Krabby. No, it's actually legitimately a Magikarp. A level 20 Magikarp. Hello. Quick attack. Nux does not deal a lot of damage right now. <laughs> you know, he's supposed to be... Maybe it's because his name is... different. Nux is currently going by something else on Twitter. So maybe... Oh, I should have tried using... Please don't crit. Oh, thank you. I also need to get some Great Ball and Ultra Balls. start with Great Balls, because I can buy Great Balls. I can't buy Ultra Balls right now. So if I run into a super rare Pokemon, I want to make sure to use it on the Ultra Ball on them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Magikarp was caught. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. For no reason, <laughs> it jumps and splashes around. Easy for Predators to get. Oh, LA fan saying, I love the Firefly Funhouse. It was so great. I agree. Oh damn it. I forgot to give him a... I forgot to give the Magic Carpet name. Alright, it's time to go get this Magic Carpet name now. But I agree, LA fan. That match was... Who boy. Was it them paying off every storyline possible? There is no more meat on the buffalo left after that match. It is just done. And so... So much so that I'm like, there's no way you can ever do... Um, Bray Wyatt versus John Cena again. It's literally their entire history has been completely. Of course you show up. You, I already kind of. I hate when. Oh, it doesn't matter because I have Nux. But if you are, if you're unaware of wrestling, there was a Firefly Funhouse match between the Fiend slash Bray Wyatt versus John Cena. If you're not a wrestling fan, you need to track this shit down because it was. Amazing. It was... There's currently, like, no audience people, so they're trying to do, like, these weird cinematic stuff. And some of it works, some of it doesn't. The two they had for WrestleMania worked, I think, fantastic, which was the Boneyard match, featuring The Undertaker in his American Badass get-up without Limp Biscuit coming out, which was because I'm baloney. Um... It should have gotten Limp Biscuit. They had Metallica, which is better than Limp Biscuit. By the transitive properties, but I'm just saying, like Limp Biscuit is who everyone remembers American Badass Undertaker going with, so they should have sprang the extra money for American Badass. That's what I feel. But yeah, both of them were excellent, fantastic, trying to get, trying to make the best out of a bad situation, and probably would have been better than actual matches because Undertaker matches in real life are 
he's just too old. Like, he, he gets injured too quickly, and it's just not a very, like, I don't want to see Undertaker die in the ring. It's bad enough that I had to deal with it when it looked like Ric Flair just wanted to die in the ring, but I don't need Undertaker to die on me actually in the ring as he's actually wrestling. Um, so yeah, a bunch of weird stuff for sure. Um, where is the name reader? He's down here. 100% he's down here. Okay. Um, but yeah, it was insane. It, I don't know how much it would appreciate it if you're not watching wrestling, because there's a lot of wrestling history and all the bullshit that they did. But I'm sure you would enjoy it even if you didn't understand the history between the two characters. Um, the basic history is is that when Bray Wyatt was hot as hell, um, in terms of like everyone was behind him and everything, he had a WrestleMania match with John Cena. And that match is widely regarded as the eventual downfall of Bray Wyatt as a character. It was just like, it's hard to like put into words why it was considered that, but it was because it was... Uh, we need to check on Snake. He was just like... What's the best? He, the, the basic thing is, is that John Cena didn't need to win that WrestleMania match and he won. That's the basics of it, is that in order for Bray Wyatt to be perceived as a legitimate threat, threat he needed to win, and he needed to win bad, and he didn't win, which is a shame because I think after that, John Cena actually started losing to people to give him the rub. He just never did it for Bray Wyatt. <laughs> All right, depositing real quick. Same for you, Raiders fan. We'll come back for you by the end of this episode, I swear. And withdraw. Gotta get you a nickname, my boy. Um, but that was the basic history. So going into the match with the brand new hot Bray Wyatt character, which is the Fiend, um, John Cena came back and he was like, "Oh, I'm gonna beat you, but now it, I'm gonna bury you. I'm gonna finish what you're doing. You're overrated, prick." So it was clearly built up as like a, "Hey, <laughs> for losing to Goldberg, a very." Um, going older in his years, Jewish man, we will give you back your win against John Cena. We will give you the win you should have always had. And I'm going to name you... You know what? I'm going to name you after... Um, who we're talking about. I'm going to call you Fiend. Mm, some like combination. Fiend... Fincena. Fincena. <laughs> Alright, Fincena, you are now in the box. You have a nickname, though. I didn't want to name it after someone. No one wants to be a Magikarp, I assume. Otherwise, I'd still have a list of names I could use, but I'm not using them yet. Alright, let's see. You. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, okay, sure. We'll use him over Wong for the time being. Yeah, 25. Snake. Wait. Wait a minute. No, I was about to do something very dumb, but we won't. But Snake's in the team for now <laughs> until we can get a flying type. Snake is in our team. Uh, and let's go back. I think this is the end of the episode, because the next episode is going to be the hardcore Nux training arc, where we put him into the water, like Sandshrew in that one episode of Pokemon, and he's not leaving until he's fully evolved. Or pretty close to it, at least. Or he learns a better move than fucking Ember for a fire attack, because let me tell you, that shit ain't going to cut it in the actual gym world. He needs a better move. Alright, let's go up. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, come on. Another Vulpix. God damn <laughs> The worst thing is, is that the thing I failed to catch here was a freaking Stanler. Quick attack. He burned me down. See, he's already almost at what I assume is level 32 for him. I forget which one evolves early to the third state, but I want to say it's him. 
one evolves early in the beginning stage, one is basic throughout them all, and then one evolves late. That's how they kind of break down the um, starters from here. Uh, but yeah. Oh shit, I'm gonna fight something right now. Meow. Hello, meow. Quick attack. Did I ever put Raiders fan back in the team? I feel like I said by the end of this episode I'm going to do that, and I can't remember if I replace him with a magic carpet or not. Alright. Down he goes. Okay, so Fincena needs to be replaced. Oh, oh that was a dumb dumb. I was about to just completely ruin that. Okay, let's say nothing here, nothing here. Okay, cool. Back in Fencena, and we'll bring back out Raiders. Deposit. Fencena, goodbye. Maybe we probably will never see you again unless we really lose a lot of our water types. I'll just like, I'm saying all of them at that point. <laughs> no, actually, you would be used before Gavin. Um. Water Gavin, not to be confused with other Gavin, because I have two Gavins, because I forgot that I named one after Gavin. Anyway, that's the end of today's episode. I hope you liked it. If you did, remember to leave a like. Remember to leave a question for next time. Otherwise, it's going to be an hour of me just rambling. And just like that, it's going to be about wrestling. So until next time, everyone, goodbye. <laughs>